Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell, and today we're going to be talking about the Sony Vita and of course Sony's PlayStation 4. Now I have the, I'm the uh, owner of the PlayStation 4 even though I do not like Sony what they did with the Vita when they abandoned it and everything. But now we're going to talk about everything. First we're going to start off with the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 right now is being winded down. Uh, as many uh, forums are right now uh, saying, it's time to call it quits. Uh, I'm sure it's going to last probably for another year or two uh and of, because they're coming out with still new games and all of these things but uh it's starting to wind down that means less releases are going to come out uh you know pretty much uh it's not going to be as developed as obviously it was in in the start sony has nothing to be ashamed of they i i gotta say the playstation 4 is probably their number one uh selling system uh for a very long time of course uh playstation 1 did it very very well but uh playstation 4 has sold a ton of units and is still continuing to sell people are right now i'm walking into uh best buy i'm walking into gamestop and stuff like that and i see people play uh you know placing orders on playstation 4s so uh it's still a, a marketable system that being said, they're now focusing on the future, the PlayStation 5. So all of these things are going to eventually start to wind down. And just giving you guys a little what, what, and a little warning. So uh, if any of you guys are deciding, you know, are, are trying to contemplate or, you know, just, just wanting to buy a PlayStation 4, I think you guys should hold off till the PlayStation 5 comes out. I do believe the PlayStation 5 is going to be backwards compatible from all the rumors and what people are saying. So I don't even understand why the PlayStation 5 is not being released right now. But everything in good time. They have a good marketing, uh, somewhat a good marketing uh, system uh, provide. Not the best in the world, but obviously uh, very good, and it worked for them. Uh, that being said, uh, they're starting to see even that their uh, virtual reality system is not selling as fast as they want it to sell, which may be, I, I got to, uh, you know, I'm thinking, are they going to come out with a better VR experience for the PlayStation 5, which I think they are, because now 4K is going to be, uh, you know, delivered uh, in a better way, maybe, or you know, a better chip, a better everything. It might work out better and look visually more pleasing than today's most VR uh, games. So again, it, it might be that they're going to be even winding that down to eventually making it, uh, you know, extinct and not, you know, building anymore. Uh, they were talking a lot about that, seeing the failure of it. Uh, so you're starting to see a lot of things winding down. Still, games are going to come out for it, even remakes that are going to be released uh what was it called? Uh, some I forgot the game. I don't know. It's, I'm not even a big fan of it. But there's a re-release that's going to be like a 4K game or something like that. So there's uh, there, you know graphics or whatever. But the thing is. <clears throat> um, it's starting to wind down, so I don't recommend anybody go out right now and buy it unless you want a cheap system, which I, I could be honest with you, I, I still wouldn't recommend it because once it starts dying out, you just got to think about the PlayStation 5 being a better investment because it's backwards compatible. So even if you like the PlayStation 4 games, go ahead and save your money for the PS5 once it comes out and then you, you, know, you can obviously... Uh, uh, you know, go over to that and it'll be backwards compatible and you don't have to worry about anything and you'll have your beautiful PlayStation 4 games, which I really, really happen to love. Uh, and you'll be able to play it on your PlayStation 5. Uh, based on rumors, of course, I don't I, I don't like seeing rumors, uh, but uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, credible people that <clears throat> usually give these rumors, so, yeah, these leaks. So maybe it, it is and, you know, they have made official statements and stuff like that, so it's something that I, I encourage people to read about, but, you know, they, they have made, uh, you know, statements before and it ended up being, you know, it ended up being a shortcoming, so I don't want to talk too much about it, but um, basically what is fact is that they're winding down uh, their uh, system right now and uh, being ready for the marketing of the PlayStation 5 to put all their advertising, all their effort, all their money and everything behind that. Whatever. Now we're going to go into the PS Vita. You remember this, guys? Well, right now I use it as a hockey puck because uh, very, very sad what Sony has done to this. Uh, apparently, they're now uh, pretty much going into a no more uh game you know making games for this thing anymore uh to be honest i thought that happened a, a long time ago because all i saw was uh independent games uh for the majority of the of its life existence except in japan where it did extremely well and uh they were uh, they were coming out with more and more um you know um more and more games for it of course in japanese and all of that stuff now not to say they didn't come up with games like uh for this too they were releasing or re-releasing games and everything um 
the thing is, it's it, it's kind of sad what they did with this Vita because the Vita was like the Nintendo Switch of the day. Playing games like Uncharted, Mortal Kombat, uh, what was my other favorite game? Uh, uh, Killzone Mercenary, which was out of this world. To be able to play these console-like games, and this was what it was marketed as, on the system, I mean, it would have had, it had such a, I know it didn't sell well, but that's because, again, they paid too much attention to the selling of the system. If they actually created content for it, and you could tell, this is the problem with these companies, even with the Wii U. They, you know, they, they always blame the system for low sales, not the games that are out for it. Okay, if they came out, so basically what happens is they focus too much on the system, like Wii U. They don't focus on the content that's released for the system. They don't understand that if they release a good amount of games that are pleasing to the eye and to your consumers, they're going to be going out and out of their way and buying it. And you could clearly see that when, when uh, what do you call it, uh, Nintendo 64 came out, and then, you know, you had the Dreamcast, oh, sorry, when the Dreamcast came out, and then you had the, the PlayStation 2 come out, and everybody went to the PlayStation 2 because they released more games than the Dreamcast did and so on and so forth when there is content you're gonna have people buying the system but if you only see a hand handful of games being released and then you don't release any more games but independent crap that you could find on your cell phones which you know and then what do you expect obviously it's not gonna sell it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard and I just can't believe how dumb some of these companies are their marketing research is so stupid it's just unbelievable how stupid it is that it pisses me off completely and Sony I mean this thing look at the form factor look at the resolution on this baby it was amazing even this back you know gimmicky crap was fucking awesome you know everything was great but to, to then abandon it and just say, we're done, and then give a, give a lame excuse in your conference and say, um, you know, uh, they have all the games already on the, on the uh, cell phones and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, because you're releasing independent games that you charge 60 bucks for. Uh, you know, you had these independent guys marketing their games for 30, 60, and then they lowered it, of course, because nobody wanted anything to do with it. But that, they were the only ones releasing. That You can't say that, and, and they're not honest because they know. They're not that stupid. They're stupid, but not that stupid. They know exactly that they weren't releasing games. They weren't putting their money behind it. I don't know why. Maybe they wanted to, their PlayStation 3 to sell better. I I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but it was the dumbest thing they could have ever did was to abandon this. This thing has so much, so much potential, and I hope the hacking community takes full advantage of it and somehow gets PlayStation 2 games to be running on this because I, I love this system. I used to love it. I have every game that was ever out for it in that time, you know, from Uncharted to, you know, all going all the way, even God of War, I had the, the re-release of it, of all, the, all of the uh, games for it. I have every freaking game almost that I love on this damn thing. Okay, then of course I don't buy the Japanese games because I don't understand what they're saying and I want a, a game that I could understand. One day hopefully I, I'll understand Japanese. It's a beautiful language and want to learn it one day. But the thing is, <clears throat> it, that's what happened. And now they're, <laughs> they're making an announcement. Oh, guys, uh, we're uh, pretty much very soon going to be stopping uh, developing for this thing. Gee, well, I never knew you, you even developed for it, to be honest with you. You abandoned this system, and you guys should be ashamed of yourself. This is why I never trust Sony anymore. That's why I didn't even want to get a PlayStation 4. But the thing is, I got it as a gift, and I love my PlayStation 4. And I love Sony. I just don't like what they did. I was really pissed off that they I lost my trust in them. They marketed this as a console on the road, pretty much like the Nintendo did with the Switch, except Nintendo was honest. It is actually a console on the go. This thing was supposed to be the same. You could take it on the go. It was great. Then they had these stupid things where you're releasing uh, games that could be streamed, and of course they didn't have uh, good servers that were serving these games. And even with the best connection in the world, it looked like crap because it kept lagging. They could have re-released PlayStation 2 games for this easy and made money. They could have even abandoned this. They could have abandoned it and said, you know what? All we're going to focus on now because we're abandoning it. Let the independents, the indies, make their games that you could get on the phone for free. Let them do whatever the heck it is. But you know what? We're going to come out with an, a way that you could play PlayStation 2 games on it. I mean, how many of us would love to play uh, the old, uh, you know, uh, shut your mouth? 
on this thing or here comes the pain which is better than 2k18 on the switch because obviously the switch uh, version is crap uh so how many of us would love to play that on the go i would freaking adore that on the go and it would be amazing to have these games in your hand and and play it okay i haven't played this in a while like in about a year but i i have played it even though no new games have came out with it even uh, just once i got the switch i pretty much didn't care anymore because there wasn't any new games and i played the crap out of all the games here and it's just really sad that something of this potential can just be so overlooked and thrown away and then they give such a stupid ex stupid excuse it's not even stupid. It's a stupid excuse because you could tell how dumb they were for doing that, and and then saying uh, all the games are you know games right now are released on the phone. There's a difference between console games and phone games. Nintendo were, wasn't that stupid. They understood that. That's why their 3DS it did so freaking well and blew the competition out of the water. Again, why did the 3DS win? And I have a 3DS system here too. Where the hell is that damn thing? I stopped playing that too. Because <laughs> uh, once the Switch came out, there was no uh, no real need for me to go, whatever. But you guys can see in my past episodes, I actually reviewed it. Uh, I also have a lot of games for that. But why did the, the 3DS actually succeed? The 3DS succeeded because it had a huge library of games. So when people had to decide between a PlayStation Vita that claimed it was a console on the go, which was amazing and the technology is great, but then the consumer is like, well, wait a second, all the games I love is on the Nintendo uh, 3DS. Why the hell would I get this crap? And they go for the 3DS. Now, if they had a bunch of games, like when they came out with Uncharted, that was the sole damn reason I bought the Vita. <laughs> when they came out with Kill... Uh, uh, Killzone Mercenaries, I was looking at it and I was like, I couldn't believe it. Right on the go to play that game. And boom, I went ahead and said, you know what, this is the time and I got it. And I was a little bit of a late adopter of this, obviously, uh, by one year about. Because, uh, you know, I, I wanted to see what other games they came out with and all of those cool things. But when I saw it, I mean, even here, I have more games than this, obviously. To play uh, Final Fantasy uh, 10 on, on the go or Tekken versus Street Fighter uh, to play Injustice and of course Mortal Kombat and a bunch of other games that I have it's so sad that they abandon it and now they're actually coming out with a uh, uh, thing saying hey guys well we're basically not producing any more games for it you never produced it in the first place, you idiots. <laughs> Very, And if you did, you did really rarely and only in Japan. And a few games here and there came out for this, which were, you know, wasn't really an honorable even mention. Uh, but, it, you know, you're, you're grasping at straws here. But uh, then when you're, you're now making that announcement, just really sad. And I hope the hacking community takes full advantage of the Vita now and actually uh, fixes everything. Uh, I mean, fixes. Uh, comes out with a PlayStation 2 emulator or something that works really, really well on this thing. I would, ex I would love it. Anyways, as always, let me know what you guys think down below. Like, so, as always, self-funded here. Okay, self-funded. I, I give honest reviews on everything. The only thing I ask is that you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Uh, and in the end of the video, just see all of the stuff. But definitely share. But uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be alerted of many more honest reviews and things like that. Just really sad, uh, uh, sad day for Sony. Uh, it, it was when uh, this thing was abandoned. Really, really sad. Uh, I was extremely uh, ticked off from this. Uh, so anyways, let me know what you guys think down below about all of this, what I have to say. So in, in a nutshell, PlayStation 4, hold off. Get the PlayStation 5. Save money. Get the PlayStation 5, uh, and then it'll be backwards compatible. As far as this is concerned, um, a lot of people are telling you to buy this right now more than ever. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I think, uh, invest on a Nintendo Switch. This thing is a beautiful system, but until hackers actually hack the living daylights out of this and produce emulators for games like uh, for PlayStation 2 games or even Wii games, that would be so awesome. But I'm willing to bet it could do PlayStation 2 without even thinking twice. It would be incredible, an incredible buy just for that. Uh, especially right now because it went down in price to like 50, 60 bucks. Some people are selling it for. So definitely something to look, uh, look into. Anyways, have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.